the modern concept of human rights is really uh, something which could only have uh, developed from the sources of the Torah. It is because the Torah stresses that the human being is created in the image of God, and that is to say that there is uh, a certain um, unique uh, aspect to human existence which does not exist in any other part of the uh, animal kingdom. There is no other form of life which possesses th this, uh, these spiritual faculties and uh, this uh, intelligence and uh, spiritual uh, intellect in order to connect with the divine. It, it is precisely for that reason that the human being uh, cannot be uh, simply done away with or violated or uh, trodden underfoot. And this concept comes directly from the Torah in actual fact. This would be, I have no doubt, a surprise to many human rights activists throughout the world, who, many of whom, most of whom uh, probably do not believe in the Torah, do not believe in God for that matter. But the truth of the matter is that their, their outlook and their belief in human rights is not something which stems from a purely Darwinian biological um, view of existence, because according to that view, uh, why should there be any intrinsic value to a human being? Why should one human being not um, take advantage of, act immorally or even murder another human being in order to achieve what he wants? If that is what um, his he is motivated to do by this or that drive or desire or will, which according to a pure hardcore Darwinian is the result of uh, Darwinian evolution and therefore it is intrinsic to the nature of this being, this human being that he should want and desire to do these things. Why is it irrational or improper or immoral to, for him to do whatever he can to achieve those aims and to uh, fulfill those needs and those desires as he sees fit. In fact, the concept of, of morality itself uh, cannot really be explained in uh, Darwinian terms at all. The entire concept of human rights and uh, individual freedom, the right to choose how one makes a living and how one is to uh, act how one chooses to act, what kind of role one chooses to play in the marketplace. Uh, all this is connected to the value of the individual uh, human being. And this is a concept rooted in the statement at the very beginning of the Torah, the book of Genesis, that Hashem created, the Creator uh, created human beings in, the, in His own image, that is to say, with a s special and unique uh, intellect and spiritual faculty. And he, the Creator, uh, instructs us and demands of us to live according to a moral code.